Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, I'd say from this season, I've had some bad games. Um, mm. But I wouldn't be playing every game for Manchester United in the starting eleven if I'd been playing bad every game or not, not playing well enough. There's a reason why both managers have put me in the starting eleven every game. Um, for what I bring to the team, what I bring to, to the starting eleven. Um, but I do also understand that I'm the captain of this club. Um, I cost a lot of money. Um, and when things aren't going well and we're conceding too many goals, I'm going to get criticised. Harry Maguire, ladies and gentlemen. The man right there, before that Liverpool game, who defended his own performances. There's a reason that every manager starts me. I have no idea what that reason is, Harry, but I've, I've, I'm sorry. I'm normally somebody who really tries to not sit on the fence, but I try to be as, as civil as I possibly can. But I am completely and utterly done with Harry Maguire as a Manchester United player. I've previously done a couple of videos. Look, this is back in February. I did a video saying that we need to talk about Harry Maguire. A month later, I said it was the end for Harry Maguire as captain of Manchester United. But I'm now I'm completely and utterly done with Harry Maguire as a Manchester United player. Completely. Roy Keane has been a, a very le a leading voice in terms of, not, not leading voice in the criticism towards it, but in, in the standards that he used to set and the stand is that Maguire continues to constantly fall below. And I want to explain exactly why. From every angle, I'm done with Harry Maguire. Last night, another two examples. I mean, there are so many examples of this this season. It's, it, it's ridiculous. But Harry Maguire loves, for a man whose biggest weakness of his game is his pace, he loves to leave space in behind, loves to break out of defense, go and ag ag aggressively attack the midfield, leave space for the runners. He's a captain. He should he should have si he knew that Diogo Delo had just made a forward run. Instead of holding back though, he goes forward. Let's fast forward here to see what happened for the fourth goal. A hospital pass out to uh, out to Hannibal. Loves doing those. But then this is where it gets weird. The ball comes inside and it's here at this position. He's got a defender right in front of him, right there. He's looking at him. Looking at, is that Lindelof? Looking at Lindelof, who's deeper than him. He's deeper than him, and he tries to play the offside trap. Doesn't look behind him at any point once. Doesn't see that Salah's making a run in behind. Oh, never mind. Salah's there. Easy running, easy goal. From a, from a footballing perspective now, I'm done with Harry Maguire. Too many constant, constant mistakes from Harry Maguire from a footballing perspective. And I'm done in that sense. And I'm also done in the sense of Harry Maguire as captain. And I lost that a while ago. This is the prime example of it. This was, I believe, after the Liverpool game. Or it was after, yeah, it was after the Liverpool game or the City game. It didn't really matter. They were both abysmal. Um, saying, as a group of players, we know we're going through a tough period. We know this. And we accept this is nowhere, it gets full screen, this is nowhere near good enough. We feel your frustration and disappointment. We are doing everything we can to put things right. And we will put things right. Thanks for your support. Four days later, he's there taking a piss out of United fans. You can't criticize me, baby. I'm scoring headers against Albania. How dare you criticize me? And as I, this st staggering, Staggering lack of self-awareness or staggering overinflated self-importance. One of the two or both of them. Neither of which are a good thing. If Harry Maguire cannot look at his performances this season and honestly say to himself, you know what? Yeah, I've been shit by comparison of how I was the previous season, how I was with England at the Euros. But instead, he defends himself. And this is the captain of Manchester United. And I've said this so many times on record here. That when you're captain of Manchester United, you are held to a different level of accountability. Hell, I'm not even talking about all the mad stuff he does. Like headbutt Ronaldo in the mouth. Or kick Pogba in the ear. I don't need to. I, don't know, I just did, I suppose. But it's just another... Harry Maguire has become an 80, 80 million pound meme instead of an 80 million pound top draw centre back. And the price tag's not even that relevant to me. It's just every player goes through a dip in form, right? That's why I tend, that's why I never really sort of go on record and do videos like this, but this isn't just a dip in form now. 
And this isn't any player. This is the fucking captain. All right. And I will reiterate that is the biggest problem I have with this. And you know what? The second biggest problem I have with this. I know what's going to happen next season. Eric Ten Hag is coming into Manchester United. Anybody who's watched re Ajax enough or done enough research into Ajax and the style of play that Eric Ten Hag has, you know full well that Harry Maguire is effectively the antithesis of the centre-back that he would want in a team. You look at this as a back five that started um, against... Oh, no, it's not down there. Let's get the low down there. Why not? Let's get the, let's get the team correct. The team got absolutely humiliated. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. The low down there. This is this is where the line played, right? If you look at that back line, they sat pretty damn deep. That's not how Ten Hag plays football. Ten Hag will want his centre-back partnership when United are in possession to be roughly where Pobre and Matic are, maybe a little bit deeper than that, maybe somewhere halfway in between. But playing a high line, that is how... Eric Ten Hag likes to play his football style. And Harry Maguire, as I said, is the absolute antithesis of that. If you're looking at the weakness of his game, it's the fact that when he plays in a high line, positionally, obviously that's a little bit different because you run out and you've just left Jones exposed and Delo exposed. But he can't really play that. Harry Maguire was bought as a counter-attacking centre-back. That's where his strengths have always been, if he has any strengths. Not playing a high line there. So not only do I have to, in terms of me being done with Harry Maguire as a, as, a, as a footballer, not only with me being done with Harry Maguire as a captain and, and, and the, the standards that he sets, because when you're, when you're captain of Manchester United, right, your performances and your standards are what other people can follow. They go, right, okay, well, if this is how the, stand, if this is how the captain can play, this is how I can play. And... As the season has gone on, it's just got worse and worse and worse and worse for Harry Maguire. He's been backed by two managers during that time, and he's done zero to show that that was justified. Don't worry. There you go. We'll turn up. Thanks for your support. What happens? Four days later, he takes a piss out of United fans saying, you can't criticize me. Look, I'm scoring headers for Albania. Yet... We're here talking about him as a meme. We're here talking about the standards that captains have previously set at Manchester United and the standards that this man, I've been doing all right this season. That self, I mean, I've said this before quite a few times on United People's TV in the last couple of months, that I felt that so many of these United players think they're better than they are, think that they are more important than they are. And that is an insane example of it. Because... There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've not been very good. There's nothing wrong with admitting these things, admitting that you've made mistakes and then move on. But the fact that Maguire's doubling down there and doing that before the game against Liverpool and then going in and putting in this sort of performance against Liverpool after saying, nah, I'm in a starting 11 because managers, you know, I mean, I'm in there for a reason. I don't know why you're in there for... Uh, because probably cost 80 million. If you were a 20, 30 million, you'd probably be exactly where Eric Bailly is. I think the club is just trying to try and trying to get the most out of him. But I've lost it with Harry Maguire, man. If it's passing to teammates, hospital passes out from the back. If it's ridiculous positioning. If it's ridiculous statements on Instagram and then following it up by taking the piss out of United fans. If it's the fact that he's not meeting the standards. If it's the fact that he's turned into a meme. You can go with whatever angle you want to go to. But I lost it with Harry Maguire as a captain quite a while ago. I gave him the benefit of the doubt and the idea that maybe if you take the armband away from him, he can refine that sort of form that he had for England, right? But he's just stuck two fingers in the faces of United fans there, defending his own performances. When we're sitting there, on the day before we go and we get pumped 4-0 against Liverpool, when he started, or we lost 5 0 at Old Trafford where he started, 9 0 on aggregate, and he's there defending his own performances. He cares about himself more than he cares about anything to do with Manchester United. So, toodle pip. I'm done with Harry Maguire. I can't wait for him to leave the club, and I don't really do this with players, but I'm looking at uh, Manchester United going forward, and the idea that Ten Hag, not the idea, Ten Hag is coming in. Ten Hag will play a high line. And I tell you, one player who absolutely will not thrive in that system, and that is Harry Maguire. Out of all the defenders, he is a defender that suits that system the least. But don't worry. He'll be started because 
you, you get started from every, by every manager, right? I hope not. I hope Aaron Ten Hag sells him. I hope Manchester United move on. And, and in my opinion, I'm just totally done with Maguire. And he can take so many of that squad with him. Unbelievable. As I said, that, I think that's really grinding my gears, that one. The fact that he's defending his own performances despite being so bad all season long and to follow that up with that performance that he put in against Liverpool. Tapish, I'm done. You can let me know what you think about Maguire. Maybe I'm being overly harsh. Maybe I'm being knee-jerk. As I said, this isn't a typical style for me on United People's TV. But I can't not say these things about Harry Maguire. I'm done with him. Absolutely done.